right now. Pulls up. Oh, Kobe again. 62 points. The stars shine the brightest in Hollywood. And they'll be blinding tonight as Dirk Nowitzki leads the Mavericks into L.A. to take on Kobe Bryant and the Lakers. Two of the biggest names in sports go head-to-head. -head. Kobe, Dirk, the world is watching. It's all coming up right now. Here we are soaring above Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. What better way to get ready for the holiday than with some NBA basketball on a Tuesday? Good evening, everybody. Welcome to our broadcast. I'm Kevin Harlan, alongside Coach Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg. Tonight, it's the Los Angeles Lakers. Mike hosting the Red Hot Dallas Mavs. Dallas comes in looking to keep their great play going, but they'll be facing a tough Lakers team that's been much improved the last 10 games they've played. And Clark, you look at the rosters, we should see some interesting matchups in this one. I agree with you. I mean, it feels like it'll be a race to see which of these teams can slow down the other star. Kobe Bryant and Dirk Nowitzki are both virtually unguardable this year. I think it could be a great shootout if they get hot. I'm curious how Kobe Bryant comes out to start the game. Only took 13 shots last time out in their loss. He knows he has to be more involved than that. Mike, I agree with you. I mean, that loss the Lakers suffered last time out to the Rockets only scored 74 points in that game, did the Lakers, and that just won't get it done. Kobe himself was quoted after the game saying he wished he had taken more shots in the contest, so I think it's a given. He's going to shoot more than 13 times tonight. Now, we'll look at Dallas' starting lineup. Nowitzki is out there with Eric Dampier. And there's Terry. Then it's Daniels. And it's Griffin in at the two. And Griffin with the score. The assist by Daniels. And this is the final game of the Lakers' three-game homestand. Clark, they go on the road for the next three. Well, it's been a big homestand for the Lakers. They've seemingly hit their stride during this stretch. Bryant, the jumper from the free throw line is good. Bryant's got five. And Mike, the last few games, the Lakers' defense has been huge for them. Well, the last three games, they've held their opponents to 36% from the floor. You make it that hard to shoot, you'll win most games. Now, Odom. Dirk Nowitzki missing from long range. Kobe, the pass to Parker. Lakers working the ball around now. Here's Kobe. It's rebounded by Dallas. I don't think you can ask for a better look, just not the result they were looking for. Yeah, he's got to put that miss behind him and continue to fire away when he gets that kind of a look. And so Bryant will bring it up for Los Angeles. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. From deep, inside, outside, all level. Kobe can flat out get it done. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. Griffin dishes to Dampier. He kicks it to Terry. Just five to shoot. A three ball. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Terry always looking for the response opportunity. Right back with the triple. And here's Bryant for three. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. And Clark with the Lakers. When Kobe starts getting hot, you worry the other guys don't get involved as much. I agree, Kevin, because it's easy to watch a guy like Kobe carry the load. I mean, they depend on him an awful lot for his level of production. But if they're going to win, they're going to need other players to get involved. And for Dampier, scoring off missed shots is often how it gets his points. Odom kicks to Parker. Fires the three. Got it. 14 points for him in the quarter. Again and again, round and round we go. This guy is knocking down those triples. Beyond the points, he also provides spacing to this offense. And pushing it up, here's Los Angeles. After trying to free himself up, count it at 16 for the quarter. I like how Bryant takes contact on the way up. This guy is very good at feeling out the defense and, and absorbing that contact and still capitalizing. Novitsky for three. Mike Dallas hasn't taken the same amount of threes this year as they did in the past. Coach Johnson doesn't want them looking for as many threes. You can see how different their approach has been. Now here's Odom. 
following the miss by Kobe Bryant. Gets it to fall, 19 for the quarter. From the opening whistle, their tempo has been the tempo of the game. Not just on offense, but on D as well. They've completely set the tone for this game. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. Los Angeles making a switch here. Bujacic has checked in. Dallas also making some changes. Van Horn comes in for Dampier. And Harris subbed in for Jason Terry. Evan finds Harris. Daniels with it. Odom on him. Daniels with it. Picked up by Brown. And that one's good. Daniels. And the Lakers sit at 13-11 on the season so far. But they've been playing much better of late. I agree, Mike. I mean, they've won seven of their last nine. That includes their win over Dallas, which we mentioned earlier. And this run has moved them back over 500. Average trail by nine. Here's Griffin. And Griffin slams it in. How about the leaping ability of Griffin? Going up where the defense can't get in his way. And it's Cook with the ball for Los Angeles. Kobe with it. 19 points in the game. Cook, the pass to Odom. Here's Bryant. Got it for his 21st point this quarter. Look at Bryant just outworking the inside defense and securing the high percentage shot. Harris passes to Daniels. Plays it up and banks it in. Daniels has got five now. That's too easy. High percentage look without much defensive pressure. Ryan in the post. Griffin on him. Good! 23 points for him in this quarter. Kobe Bryant so hard to slow down. What a gifted offensive player. Let's send it over to David Aldridge. David, what do you have for us? Thanks, Kevin. The Lakers tonight had a special tribute to Rick Fox before the game. Fox retired after the 2004 season and was a big part of that Lakers three-peat. Always a fan favorite, Laker fans had one last chance to cheer for Fox on this floor. Guys? Thank you for that, D.A. Hard not to be happy, Mike, for a guy like Fox. Great role player on those championship Laker teams. Here is Daniels following the basket by Kobe Bryant. Nowitzki sets a screen for Harris. It's Nowitzki on the wing. Off target with the open look. Wide, wide open, and still, surprisingly, he wasn't able to cash in. And here's Kobe from the arc, and that's collected by Nowitzki. Average trail by 11. Griffin looking it over, passes it to Harris. Buries the long-range jumper. Tough not to see his man there. Great job by Griffin, able to identify it early. Harris has gone one of two, shooting from three. Kobe against Griffin. In the corner, Cook with it. For three, Kobe got it. 28 points this half. Boy, they didn't waste any time, did they? They got going right away. They obviously had a plan coming in, and they've put it to good use. Here's Harris. That one falls, his second basket of the game. He's now two for three. Boy, I sure hope this offense continues to percolate like this, because if it does... We could be in for a doozy. Who doesn't like a high-scoring game? Well, now that I think about it, maybe some defensive coaches, and what a matchup this should be. Lakers won the last meeting between the two teams the Monday before last. That was a back-and-forth slugfest. Here's Griffin. It's good. Griffin's got six. Griffin doing a nice job hustling on the boards, making sure they didn't have an empty possession. Vujicic kicks the cook. Bryant, that's a two-pointer. Got it! 30 points for the quarter. He's really doing an outstanding job creating for others. He's making plays, setting guys up. A great teammate. Harris, looking it over. 
Griffin sets the screen for Harris. Here's Daniels. The wing jumper off target. And the D daring him to prove he can make it from that spot. Unfortunately for him, not able there. The Mavericks, 21. Welcome back, everyone, to Los Angeles and Staples Center. Second quarter just getting going. The Lakers leading by nine. And as staunch as the Lakers' defense has been, Clark, Dallas doesn't look too bothered. Well, I tell you, Kevin, Dallas poses all sorts of matchup problems with their length. I think they're handling just about whatever the Lakers throw at them right now. Now here is Harris. He's guarded closely. Floats one up. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And Harris does a really good job using his quickness to his advantage, and he's got plenty of that quickness. A creative guard shooting for plays with an edge, too. Devin Harris taking two shots. And he makes the first, but misses the second. And it's the Lakers ball. Walton the pass to George. The teardrop falls in. George has got the lead up to 13 now for the Lakers. How about the sweet shot from George? It takes control to get that to fall. Daniel misses from close range. And here's George. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Bryant in the corner. Good for 35 points in the half. Well, that's just a demonstration of terrific ball skills from Kobe. Avoided the defender and gets it to fall inside. There's a screen. Here's Van Horn. Sinks the triple. Van Horn's got his first three points of the game. There are very few players who can slow a score of his caliber down. Outside for George. And it's Brian at the elbow. Shot clock at six. Three-pointer. It's good. Let's see. 38 points on the half. And, Mike, this is the lone trip to Staples Center for the Mavs this season. Yeah, these teams only see each other three times this season. This is the only chance for Lake of fans to see Dirk in person. Harris misses. Lakers leading by 15. Walton dishes to Vujicic for three. Kobe. Oh, Kobe is on fire! tonight his career high within reach remember Brian had 56 points in just three quarters against the Grizzlies back in 02 as to Van Horn shoots the three the shot's good on the assist by Daniels Daniels has got three assists now in this one showing that competitive spirit and fight he said to that team hold this three anything you can do I can do better he came right back Eye for an eye right there. You hit me with the triple, I'm coming right back at you with the three of my own. And you love that mentality. Both sides playing with fire in their bellies tonight. Here's Van Horn. He has six. Shop kicks to Harris. They set the pick. Fires high post. Here's Jock, and that one is stuffed right through. Sending it right back with authority. He is such an asset court to his team on the glass. Wow. Yeah, keeping the ball out of enemy hands and making sure they finish the play strong. It's stolen. And in the matchup between two elite scorers, Mike, Kobe has a major lead. He's come out on a mission. Kobe is refusing to have two pedestrian games in a row. And what a start, Mike, it's been for Avery Johnson in his coaching career. Took over the Mavs last season, has them humming this year, sports a 34-8 record as their coach. Not a bad start to your career. And here's Bryant for three, and that score sets a new season high for Kobe. The first thing on Kobe's mind, score the ball. Harris outside. The pass to Van Horn. Harris outside. Six to shoot. To the inside. Here's Jump. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Jump's got his second basket of the night. 
Nice feed there, setting up his teammates perfectly for the bucket inside. So timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Brown, he's checked in for Walton. Good comes in for George. Lamar Odom, he's checked in for Green. And Parker subbed in for Vujicic. And the Mavericks will go for a different look here. Tim Pierre, he's checked in for Jock. Nowitzki comes in for Josh Powell. Griffin's checked in for Van Horn. And Terry, Kobe hitting the 50-point mark here with plenty of game left. Where will this take us? A gifted passer, Lamar Odom is embracing. Timeout, time man. Time out. Kobe into the 50s, and so much Pardon? game time left. I tell you, these fans loving every minute of it. Mike, uh, look here at the Western Conference standings. Spurs are at the top where everyone expected them to be, but the Mavs are right on their heels. And the Lakers are right in the thick of a very tight Pacific division. Here's Griffin, and it's Dallas with another. That's where he does his share of damage. Griffin has a silky smooth touch from mid-range. Here's Bryant. Brown the pass to Cook. Kicks it to Kobe. Takes the three. It's rebounded by Dallas. Outside Griffin. A rebound by Kobe Bryant. Bryant's got six rebounds in the game. Griffin with the steal. Here's Daniels, throws down the breakaway jam. He saw that angle to the basket and knew exactly what to do in transition. When he has a lane like that to the rim, you know he's looking to finish the break. Griffin with the steal. 16 feet away, Daniels controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Great energy, stayed with the play all the way through. Odom, the pass to Kobe. Brown trying to free himself up. Down it goes. He's got 52. The mid-range stroke of Bryant. You got to admire that. I mean, he's got a terrific feel from here. Daniels with it. Odom on him. Yep, it counts. Daniels has got six in the quarter. They are punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. Here's Kobe in the corner. Cook with it. From deep, Bryant. Oh, Kobe again! Close to his career high! I like that they're putting in the work trying to build this lead out. Because in the NBA, no lead is safe. Here is Daniels, guarded by Odom. The 11-footer picks it out to Nowitzki. From deep, the shot's good on the assist by Daniels. Daniels has got five assists tonight. And Dirk is so different than most other seven-footers. He has the ability to hit the threes at a high clip. Parker with the bounce pass. On the wing, Bryant. You bet, Bryant with 58. 58 points, setting a new career high. Daniels kicks to Dampier. Terry against Parker. Terry the pass to Nowitzki. Again, the Mavericks score. Hard to think of a big man that's a better shooter off the catch. And so it's Parker with it. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Ryan against Griffin. Here's Cook. Offline with his three. Mavericks trail by 15. To Terry fires the three. Odom grabs the board. Outside Kobe from deep three point territory. No good on the last second attempt there. And so it's Kobe Bryant making things happen for Los Angeles. They kept going to him again and again, and he delivered with a monster quarter. We'll return shortly. The green and red lights of the Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. You know it's holiday season here. 
The second half is starting up here in L.A. Lakers against the Mavs on this Tuesday night on 2K. Los Angeles leading by 15. And for the Lakers, Mike, they've had a tough schedule to start the season. A lot of games against tough opponents. Should get a lot easier for them in the second half of the season. If they can tread water, they should be fine. Just five on the clock. Odom kicks to Parker. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Bryant can't get it to go. Well, that's a quality look for him. Probably surprised himself with that miss. Yeah, the defense can't continue to give him that shot and expect the same results. It's good. Terry's got the first points to start out the third quarter for the man. And a size disadvantage, clearly, but Terry still found a way to make it work. Lakers passing it around. Griffin against Kobe. For three. It's hauled in by Nowitzki. Nowitzki's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Griffin passes to Terry. High post, Nowitzki. Terry kicks to Dampier. Nowitzki bounce pass. That shot by Griffin, no good. Got some space in the mid-range, but wasn't able to convert. Still, not a bad chance for him. Passes in, that's 61. Yep, he's their leading scorer in this game and has been the dominant figure today, no doubt about it. Let's take a moment here to check in with our sideline reporter, the terrific David Aldridge. Well, it's been tough for the Mavericks to get wins here in L.A. Dallas has a record of 9-45 and 45 against the Lakers here in Los Angeles. Now, they fared better in recent years, but historically, it's been one of their toughest road trips. Guys? David, sensational report. Thank you so much. And Clark, tough for teams to come in here and play. They're absolutely right, Kevin. It's been hard for any. And Kobe well into the 60-point range now. I can't ever recall seeing anything quite like this. I mean, Kobe scoring at will over 60 points with a bunch of time left. He might go for a C note here. Parker against Terry. Back to Kobe. Parker kicks to Cook. Here's the three. Mavericks with the rebound. Dampier's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Griffin. Nowitzki finds Griffin over Parker. Griffin can't get it to go in. He just can't seem to get anything to go. He's in a bit of a rut. He's got to simplify things on offense. Concentrate on getting quality looks and not settling for bad shots. Bryant drives in. Gets it to go. Now it's 66 points. Well, it's been the Kobe Show once again, Mike. He's responsible for over half the L.A. Laker points. And I'm sure that's not how they drew it up. When you've got a hot hand like Kobe, you have to feed it. They grab their own miss. Steps back. Daniels kicks to Terry. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Dallas, no good that time either. Los Angeles leading by 18. In the corner, it's Odom. Pass to Kobe. The kick out to Odom. And the three off target. And the Mavericks with possession here. Terry the pass to Dampier. Lead pass was put in just the right spot. Dampier's got his second bucket of the night. Great feed from Terry. I like seeing him scan the floor and find open teammates. Brown. That's good. And it's Kobe with the assist. And the Lakers lead by 18. At the last possible moment, he changed out of the shot and found the open man. Good decision. Here's Terry. And it's good. Two points. Terry's got 10 points. With him, the scouting report says you've got to go over the screen. Absolutely. He'll hurt you from deep. So you have to fight through those picks. Here in the third, he's really started to heat up from the perimeter. Average trailed by 19. Here's Daniels. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. This was not too far away, Mike, and the Lakers, one of the teams, playing that night. It should be fun. 
Only two Christmas Day games this year, but they are great matchups. Shaq and Kobe facing off as the Lakers go to Miami. And the Spurs versus Pistons later on should be a great one as well. Such great touch there from Bryant on the runner. Nice. Dirk has had an impact. Mike Kobe has run away in their scoring battle. Kobe is playing possessed. He's made it his personal mission to carry this Lakers offense. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on the board. That is his first foul of the game. It's not quite set. And when there's a doubt, I think the refs will err towards calling the blocking foul, which I agree with. As they should. You want to reward players in attack mode. And Los Angeles with some changes. Holton's checked in for Brown. George comes in for Odom. And Pujicic in for Parker. Here's Armstrong. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Lakers leading by 19. Walton dishes to Vujicic. Ryan passes to Vujicic. Walton inside. He's covered by Armstrong. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Bryant on the wing. Count it at 16 for the quarter. Three pointers clearly the difference for them here in the second half. Tough to guard a whole team from beyond the arc. They've got it going. Armstrong kicks to Harris. We've got 148 left to play in the third. Here's Armstrong to the middle. Here's Benga. Off target at the rim. Well, Phil Jackson has delivered everything Laker fans could have hoped for in his tenure, Clark. No doubt about that. You're right on. Multiple titles and some incredible teams. With Shaq on, he's got a tougher challenge now, though. Still, Laker fans must love the job he's done. I don't see how they could. And, you know, their lead just continues to grow, and it's not just because of their offense. They're getting it done in both ends. Yeah, their defense has been stellar as well. Great work on both ends. Passes to Van Horn to stop the run. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Walton's got four rebounds in this game. To the paint from 13. Makes it. Now it's 79. Yeah, Walton puts his team first out there. If he sees a guy with a prime shot, he'll get him the ball. All right, Karen. That was your bad team. Make some noise. There's 48 seconds left in the third. Here is Armstrong, covered by Vujicic. Armstrong passes to Van Horn. A three-pointer off the mark. And the Lakers have really picked up their defense, Mike, here in the second half. I imagine Coach Jackson didn't mince words at halftime. They've cranked up the intensity on defense. In the corner, it's Harris. This one for three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Tell you what, you can feel their frustration underneath the surface. It's actually palpable with all these misses. They're trying to shake it off, but every time they come up short, the panic starts to set in. Good, the pass to Vujicic. Here's Kobe. Good! 23 points for him in this quarter. How about Vujicic with the handle? Getting it up to a more open guy. And so it's Los Angeles having no problems at all. Up 29 points heading into the next quarter. The three-point shooting has come fast. That's the move in the court. Outside Griffin. There's the buzzer, and this one is in the books. Lakers win on the back of a sensational scoring display from the great Kobe Bryant. I've never seen anything like that. Kobe was locked in, and it seemed like he couldn't miss. Mike, he couldn't, and a tough loss for the Mavs. But, Clark, they can only shake their head at what Kobe did right before him tonight. Look, Kevin, sometimes when you witness greatness, you just have to sit back, appreciate it, respect it, and enjoy it. This was a game that we'll all remember for a very long time. And now, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Kobe Bryant. A great performance tonight. How were you feeling? Well, I, just, I felt pretty good. You know, I felt like I got in a pretty good rhythm early in the game. And, um, you know, just wanted to keep on attack and try to keep us in this one. Well, you certainly did the job tonight, Kobe. Congrats on the win. Kevin? 
David, thank you as always. And so for Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan alongside our entire...